Welcome back to another YouTube upload, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the hoverboard, uh, supposed, maybe, might be, the hover, what might be the hoverboard gym kind of build, and I'm going to give you an update on what I've done to the scooter uh, to kind of improve it from where I was left off with it on the video previously before, I think it was about two weeks ago, or three weeks ago. I made a video on this. No, it was almost a month ago. So I've had this for almost a month. But anyways, I'm going to give you updates on that. And then I'm going to go over what potentially could be the next hoverboard gym kind of build. So first, I think I'm going to just go ahead and get the screw out of the way. It's nothing really special. So uh, I've put a good bit of use into it. Um, first thing we can start off with is, um, I guess, fitment. Yeah, we, well, I, dare I say have fixed the fitment of the entire wheel and now you can see with the amount of focus I have it is super tucked we have some uh, Lego pieces to actually um, kind of compress uh, this little brake pad into making it break all the way down to where it's almost even rubbing on the wheel if you hit it hard enough so this is gonna be as low as it can go I could probably get it lower, but then we're just going to have friction against the wheel, and it's just going to slow me down, and it's just going to be big bad. So this is as good as it's going to get, and the wheels still light up the front. Uh, I want to put a mud guard on it or something like that if I like can build one, but for now, it, it's fine where it stands. I'm totally fine with it. Uh, I put something super dumb. Uh, I put a bolt on... <laughs> This is the funniest thing ever. Um, pretty much nothing. This is just nothing. I, I don't even know why I'm including this in the video. It's it's a bolt on a piece of junk. Uh, it, it, it's like some sort of neochrome. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, next, I painted. I well, I actually repainted uh, the entire entire handlebar since it was actually fading and crusting and all this crap. Um, I might have an example of it uh, somewhere down here. Nope. Well, it was kind of just peeling, like these parts where I scraped, it was just showing its true colors, you know? It was really showing its true, true colors on me. So, I repainted it about an hour ago. Looks pretty solid. Why is my camera, like, so off-focus today? Might be because of the window open back there. Um, I'm not going to check. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, uh, uh there's not a lot of updates on the scooter. I just kind of made it better. <laughs> oh, and I also lubricated the wheels, and I painted these little bumpers back here, uh, just because you can even see I got paint on my hand. Um, the paint I use, actually, is, is just some two, two uh, primer, paint and primer spray, spray paint, because I don't have primer, and nor do I have the money for some primer. It's probably super cheap, I just don't feel like looking for it. But I got all the successive Neochrome hardware and stuff. I, I want to do something with it. I, I just like this color. It just looks so cool. I have a bunch of pieces like this is laying around the house. Oh, shoot, I got my brightness all the way up. There you go. I have a bunch of pieces, at least like stupid little Neochrome pieces laying all around the house. I could probably do something with those. And with that being said... I could probably do something with those on this thing. Okay. I'm going to turn on my flash. Uh, this is what might be the hoverboard I'm kind of but I'm, I'm not sure. Um, this is some sort of hover one. I have, no, I have no idea what this brand is. I genuinely don't. Um, I, I've never heard of this brand. But this thing, uh, this, this product, I'd say, is actually, to be honest, a very well-built product. Uh... <laughs> It's, it, it, you know, it works. You, you push down and it goes, you, you know, like, yeah. But I, I want something different. I, I want something we've never seen before. Now, this is something we've never seen before. Um, It, it has harnesses that I, I put on. These aren't perfect harnesses, but I'll show you how those work. Uh, we have a the, well. The craziest part about this, and the main part about this, is which is why I'm maybe saying this might be the hoverboard gym kind of build if I do something else to it because this is just too too normal. Um, I redid the whole uh, front 
Uh, there used to be an entire bar here to go about this long, and it used to have pedals on each side to rest your feet. That's just adding more weight, you know? It's just slowing it down. So what I did was I took that completely off, and I literally put a entire suspension system inside of some sort of hoverboard go-kart thingy. It has this. This is all, all it does. It's, it's not actually up and down. It's more of like a left and right system. So if I sit in it, it'll just compress. But the cool thing about it is this thing does wheelies super, super easily. And I can hold wheelies even while idle. And, you know, when your body is compressed down on it and you will raise up, that front wheel will still be on the ground. So in my theory... You, you, you know, it's not giving you no traction. There's no reason for this piece to even be on the ground in the first place. But, you know, you know it's, it, it's just something, you know. It's just different, you know. At least I didn't keep it completely stock and just <laughs> completely stock. I'll do it. I don't even know what this video is. I'm, I don't even know if I want to post this, this video. Uh, at, at the back, we have nothing, just the harness. Uh, if you want to even call it that. I, I wouldn't even call it a harness in the first place. But... The way the uh, seatbelt kind of system works here is I sit in it and I have it put to my um, height. These pieces will just end up clipping together. Hold up, I'm, I'm gonna clip it together. Now this isn't the safest thing ever, uh, but it, it will hold you in place for the, the time being. It's it's pretty tight. I mean, I have about a good inch left of room. So if if I hit like a wall or something, my feet may hit it first. But if my feet don't hit it first, and I go flying off of this thing, I, I got something here to you know leave me on. You get you know something here to something here to hold hold me on. It, it's not really doing the best uh, of the job, but it will work. It sure dang diggity darn will work. But yeah, that's that system. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it for this, I think. I I'm thinking about replacing uh, these little straps that I wore out with like a belt or something. I feel like that'd be very, um, very useful. Because especially w when whenever I'm on carpet, if I want to practice inside... Uh, the, the Velcro will just completely slide off. It'll get stuck to the carpet and slide off. So I might just put like a leather belt on it or something uh, eventually in the future. But for now, I don't, I don't think I'm going to really do anything with this. Uh, I think I'm kind of leave it as is. And, and then actually take the... Um, I have plans for the... Um, um, what What is it called? Uh... Wagon, yeah, you remember in the last hoverboard Gymkhana, uh, I used a wagon. Yeah, that is in the process of being rebuilt. And I'm going to go update you on it because I haven't updated anyone on it. I haven't done, posted on my, my Instagram story or nothing. So I'm going to do a little update on that as well, actually. Hold up. All right, so the bike is still being rebuilt. I have that on the ground. Old. And then here's the piece that was on the hoverboard. You know, you'd put your feet here, and that'd pretty much give you a very comfortable spot to rest your foot. Took that off. It's a weight reduction, so it's making it faster, and since the wheelbase is shorter, it's allowing it to turn a lot sharper. So, pretty much, it's just a complete upgrade from where it was uh, sitting. See? This this neochrome color. I, I, I like really like this color. I, I don't know. It's weird. But, pick this thing up. Okay. As you can see, I got the rear wheels off. Now I just need to figure out how to get the front off. Now I'm planning to put a complete metal frame on this thing. Because this, this frame here is like rusted off. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll take a piece like this and look flat inside and bolt it on then I'd have a metal very sturdy frame that I can go off-roading in 
<laughs> yeah, you, you know, or I can make it like some sort of like downhill car or something like that. But I just want something genuinely sturdy that I feel safe on and is safe as is. So I guess that, that's it for today's video. I, there's not nothing crazy I really want to talk about. So I guess I'll end it off here. Um, whew. If you did enjoy today's video, though, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn the notifications. Uh, my TikTok and Twitch, Instagram link, Twitch. Jesus, dude, I can't speak for nothing today. But my TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram link will always be in my about page. And I guess that's it. So, goodbye.